Welcome back guys. Well, I'm here today. Uh, I'm going to be harvesting some black walnuts. I want to make some nocino, which is a, uh, an Italian liqueur out of walnuts. And today I'll be using black walnut, but a lot of people will use uh, them from the English walnut. Uh, this will be ready for Christmas. So I got to start now. So let's get to it. So here's a nut of the black walnut. Uh, we want to harvest these right now. We're in our area um, just before the uh, the and the nut hardens okay so i'm going to be getting a few of these um try to get as many as i can actually uh, it's super easy to make nocino very flavorful but it's going to take many weeks uh, to fully develop i want to get this ready for christmas so let's get started all right so i'm just going to pick these here they tend to come in clusters i'm just going to take them off like that very lovely uh lemony scent actually um, black walnut, uh, you guys have probably seen one of my videos before where I process them to turn them into basically nuts just for, for baking. Um, underneath here, eventually, um, the nut is very, very firm, like the typical hard nut that you would see uh, in the grocery store. That's for the English walnut. Um, for the black walnuts, it's a little bit more um, rough, you know, how the nut looks, and I can just show you how that looks right here. The super messy process to you know, processed black walnuts for storage, uh, for cooking, everything turns black. Um, so you're gonna wanna wear gloves when you're making this recipe. So I'll give you a look at what the bark of the black walnut looks like. And the leaves, you can see it's a compound leaf. Right there. And unfortunately, it looks like this tree has been hit by the gypsy moths, so won't harvest too heavily from it. But, uh, poor tree, eh? Well, there we go. That took me all of 10 minutes. I've got a couple of trees I've harvested from. I've got about 25 to 30 um, sort of very immature black walnuts. So let's go home and we'll prepare these for the nocino. This is super easy. You're really going to like this recipe. I'm back home in my basement just getting a few supplies for making the nocino. And I wanted to show you um, I have organized all my supplies for doing my fermentations and, you know, making my wild brews and liqueurs down here in my basement. I've just got this... Um, this new five-tier storage system, uh, it's from Princess Auto, it was super easy to put together. As you can see, it just, it clips together. There's really no hardware that's necessary. Uh, these little tabs right here that kind of clip into the system. And it's got these little, little board right here. It's not wood. Um, you could make it wood if you wanted to, but it's super handy. I can kind of see everything. I'll show you my previous cupboard. It was an absolute disaster. Things were everywhere. I couldn't see what the heck was going on. But now I've got all my jars here and here's just a, like a, a row of all my equipment, things I can need. I can see it really easily. And I also bought one of these little, you, know, you can put your like your screws and your nails in here. And you buy, you know, stuff like that. Well, this is also from Princess Auto. I just use it to store some of my odds and ends. Like there's my pH paper and some of my stoppers and stuff like that. Um, labels for my mason jars. I don't know, all kinds of little things. So uh, yeah, I got my honey back there. So yeah, that's what I've got to, to organize my stuff. I'm just gonna grab um, some supplies and I'll meet you outside. I've got the black walnuts here in the sink and I'm just gonna give them a quick rinse just to wash them off. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna take off any little stems or any little leaflets that you see developing on the nuts. So I'm outside now, this part is the messy part. So do it with things you don't entirely care about. Um, black walnut can get very dark and exudes kind of like a brown black juice. So uh, just keep that in mind. Your fingers may get dirty, um, your cutting board, your knife, everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these into quarters. Be really careful, use a very sharp knife. And as you can see, this is exactly what we're looking for. You can see here that this is the actual walnut in there and uh, it's immature. So there is not a very hard a nut casing on it. So we're gonna quarter this. We're gonna keep your fingers in. Oops. And we'll put it in a separate bowl. You can already see it's turning um, like a brownish color there. Be careful, they are very roly-poly. are in fantastic shape. There's a very narrow window of time that you have um, to get them this way. Right now it is mid-July and other places it's uh, June. 
when they're like this, but it really depends on your location. You can start to see all the edges starting to turn brown and my hand is actually getting a little bit brown too. I'm just gonna go in and rinse that off after I'm done making the nochino, but um, really not that hard for the next few steps. So let's just finish this up. Now for this next step, all you're gonna need is a jar. Uh, I've got a really large glass mason jar right there, neutral vodka, there is some star anise and cinnamon. Now I'm not gonna use spices. Um, with my gin, I already made um, a flavorful alcoholic drink last Christmas, and uh, I had the, these kind of spices in there and it tasted really good. I wanna get the pure flavor of the black walnut. That means I'll be avoiding these spices today, but feel free to put in a star anise or a cinnamon stick uh, into your glass mason jar with the walnuts and the vodka. And of course, as I just mentioned, we use vodka. So I have neutral vodka, very neutral, mild flavor. Uh, I've got 750 mils there, and uh, we're gonna do that and pour it over our black walnut. You don't have to use neutral vodka. You can use any kind of vodka you want or you have hanging around. I have plants in the yard that I could add to it to add different flavor to it, but I wanna see, it's my first time making Nochino, so I wanna see what it's actually like in a few months um, to decide for my next batch uh, how I want to spice it. Because nothing worse than preparing something for months and months and months, adding different flavors from the woods, and then it tastes awful. Um, so we'll see what I wanna do. Maybe next year I'll do bergamot in there, or I'll do a little bit of Mirka Gale. Uh, I'm not really sure. So, but. Today I'm going to just use the black walnut and the vodka, but you guys can experiment and see what you like. So now we're going to add the black walnut into our mason jar, like so. And this is just a mason jar that has been washed and dried. Oh, there we go. That's plenty. Got another jar, I might make a second uh, batch, very good. Now traditionally, some people will add lemon peel to this as well. Um, again, totally what you wanna do. Mmm, it smells so divine, kinda lemony. Now let's add our vodka. This is the most expensive part of the Nochino, it's buying the vodka. And you wanna fill it all the way to the top so that your walnuts are covered. Woo. Very good. All right, I topped it off with a little bit more walnuts there, so I think we're good. Like I said, not adding any spices right now, so what we'll do is we'll just stick the lid on here. And give it a little mix, and we're all set. Well, it's as easy as that for step one. To go out, find your English walnuts or your black walnuts. You have to be immature. Chop them up after washing them, and put them in a large mason jar and it to the top with vodka. So we're gonna leave this in the pantry now for two to four months. We're gonna let it age. It's going to turn a different color. It'll be brown to black. It's gonna look really, really interesting. At that point in time, um, we're gonna do a part two on this video, obviously, and a final part three, my Christmas special. We'll try it out. So in part two, we're gonna show you the next steps into making the liqueur. So if you wanna get started now and you're in an area where your walnuts are nice and green, get started right now. And then follow along for part two and part three. Nochino is a wonderful liqueur. You can use it um, you know, in your cooking, on ice cream, as a nice warm treat uh, at winter or Christmas. All right, so stay tuned, guys. More is coming to this story. I hope you enjoyed today's part one, and we'll see you in the next videos. Take care. Bye for now.